John Nelson here with the York YMCA, and I'm just going to take a few minutes to talk about the uh, exciting process it's been to come through the, the shutdown um, COVID period, which we're, we're still in now, and we're navigating every day. But um, it's been a it's definitely been a journey, but it's brought a lot of us together in a way that we didn't um, uh, expect uh, what happened, and it's been in that way very enriching and, and fun for everyone. So we got back um, when the governor here in Pennsylvania opened things up, the, the yellow phase, I believe that was early June, uh, teams across Pennsylvania began to figure out ways to get back in the water and start their teams swimming. And that started the first um, conversations where all the YMCA's were talking with each other, hey, how can we do this? What are you guys doing at your pool? What are you guys doing? You know, and, and are you getting the pool outside, it's inside? Just a lot of conversations happened and, and it became very clear that the most organized and well-knit group in the swimming world was not the USA Swimming Organization, um, but more so the, the YMCA Swimming, which was, re was, really, was really interesting and, and, and neat to be a part of. And as we um, began networking, we began, again, like I mentioned earlier, forming relationships that we didn't really expect would be there. And we had, um, under the leadership, at least here in Pennsylvania, um, credit goes to Mike Gobrecht up at the uh, West Shore YMCA, who really brought people together each week to talk about these things. And as we talked, I think we began to really come up with um, plans that worked, not just for each of our individual you know, clubs, but for all the clubs to look at what we were doing as well and, 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 and move from there. So then that brought us towards the end of the summer when people wanted to uh, reap the benefits of, of their swimming and their training and they wanted to see some, uh, some yeah, the fruits of their labor with, with competition. We started to figure out ways to compete as a, um, as, as YMCA's. And so we are, uh, from, from my perspective, our YMCA joined up with um, the Upper Mainline YMCA, the West Shore YMCA, and the, and the Phoenixville YMCA. And we figured out ways um, to come, to get over all the hurdles uh, that, that, we, that we had in place to, in order to keep our kids safe. Um, and still allow them to compete. So what we did was we set up tents outside and spread all the kids out. Everyone um, distanced and wearing masks and coming eight at a time into the building. They would race, they would leave the other side of our building um, and go back around to where they were sitting and another eight would come in. And we did that um, really before most people uh, were able to because of the um, relationships that we had formed and the organization of all those teams being able to have open dialogue and work together. Um, it gave us the ability to have the, the, the know how to do it and the confidence to, to make it happen. So here we are now in um, October. We're still learning every single day and, uh, and growing and working as a team um, amongst our own teams internally and, uh, and as the Greater YMCA and um, we are looking forward to continue offering the best for our communities, for our families and for the YMCA's all across the state.